Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn something called the parameterized constructor. Now, in order to understand this concept, you need to learn what's a constructor. Now, there's a video on my channel uh, entitled as constructor, so make sure you can. It's recommended to check that out. But if you don't want to, you can just stick to this tutorial. And I'm going to explain it from zero to hundred, anyways. All right. So, getting started. So what I'm going to do is today is create a parameterized constructor. Now before we do that and I explain you what is a constructor again, I'm going to declare a class. In order to declare a constructor you need a class, all right? Class my class. All right, I'm going to create a really basic class. semicolon. I'm going to declare private and you know what you don't even need to declare private. If you don't de uh, declare private uh, it would still as default consider these elements as private because this is one property of the class if you don't put an access specifier it would declare it as private so that's a tip for you okay and now in public here is where you declare the constructor now there's this property of constructor that the constructor can only be defined by putting the same name as the classes so if it says your class name is my class, you put it my class over here. If you put student, the classes, the constructor name should be student as well. All right, exactly the same. So my class is my class's name. Now you put the brackets in the front, and you also put the curly brackets. So here is where you declare your parameters, and here is where you initialize your object. So now coming back, what is a constructor? constructor is basically a function and property of object oriented programming that is used to initialize an object when you initialize a variable for example integer a is equals to 5 that is what you're doing assigning a particular value to the variable a so here we're going to do is initialize an object for example pen we're going to initialize a pen well in this case we're not going to initialize a pen but I'm going to give you the example on what is in parameterized constructor so as the title mentioned it's a parameterized constructor so you need to pass the parameters to your constructor so in order to do that you declare any well any parameters to it I'm gonna declare two of these integer i and integer j since all my data members are integer so for assigning them with another value I need to declare integer over here it, it's a little complicated to understand in the starting as we go on you will really clear your concepts so in order to initialize, I have to type in a is equals to i, for example, and b is equals to j. So now what I've done here, whatever value I pass to this constructor, it's going to assign it to a and then to b. So if I pass i is equals to 5, it's going to declare a as 5, and if I pass j is equals to 10, it will declare j b as 10. All right? So that is basically what initialization is. It's nothing really difficult in that. Alright, so this is our constructor all prepared and ready to run. All that we need to do is create an object. Now a constructor, you don't even need to call a constructor, it gets called automatically. That's the great thing about constructor. You don't even need to write a special function in order to call that. And one thing that I'm going to do is write a small function over here in order to display the variables a and b. Nothing difficult over here. Show to parameters and let's say C out right A parameters B. So for the spacing I've put in that in, alright? So just for displaying the results of A and B I've written this function. Now all I do is create an object my class M for example. And then all I have to do over here is pass the parameters to m. I can pass 2 comma 3, 5 comma 10, any integer value basically. So let's say I'm gonna pass 5 comma 10. So what this constructor will do is assign 5 to a and 10 to b since it's in the respective order i and j. So let's put the semicolon in the front and we are also going to call the show function that we written over there. Make sure you put the parameters in the front alright the brackets because this is a method that's it all I have to do now I run the program you don't need a semicolon alright I'm gonna run the program 
and as you can see 5 and 10 so any integer value that I pass to this particular argument it's going to put these to the three these parameters assign those value to a and b and that's how you initialize an object it's that simple so just notice and keep that in mind that a constructor is declared with the same name as a class and if it's a parameterized constructor it is necessary and required to pass the parameters between these two brackets so just keep that in mind so anyway this has been a channel to chaos I hope you like this video rate comment subscribe thank you very much